Hi everyone, this is Steinvas. Welcome to Amirpay Technologies. So in this video, I'm going to explain the series of while loop programs. See all while loop logical programs I'm going to explain in this playlist. And this playlist is useful for C students, Java students, as well as .NET students also. See, first question is, so when we go with a while loop, already we have a for loop. Yes. We use a for loop only when we know exactly how many times we have to repeat the loop. Suppose if you want to display the numbers from 1 to 10, yes, you know the range. So go with the for loop. If you don't know how many times you have to repeat the loop. For example, I just want to read line by line from the file. But how many lines of data present in the file? We don't know. If you want to get information from the database, so we don't know how many records are present. So repeatedly, we are asking the question to do something. How many times a user will repeat? That also we don't know. So in that case, we use a while loop. If you see multiple examples, then you will get more clarity on while loop. See, if you want to understand the while loop programming, it's like a digit based programming digits right inside the number number of digits are there all digit based programs based on while loop only count how many digits are there display the digits next count only even digits sum of the digits reverse number program palindrome number adam number all these programs is based on while loop only but if you want to know this while loop perfectly, first, I mean, while loop programs perfectly, two simple things everyone should understand. So what are the two simple things? See, suppose if there is one number, int n is equals to 365, I have given 365. The two simple points, what? How to get the last digit from the given number? and how to remove the last digit from the given number. The two things are very, very important. Get last digit from the given number. And next one, remove. Remove last digit from the given number. See, any number, suppose is a 365. Whenever you are dividing with a 10, not only 365, any number you divide with a 10, 36 times integer part only I am taking 360 and here it is reminder is a 5 because I am taking the type is integer. Okay. So now the question is if you divide that 365 by 10, by 10 operation you will get 36 and suppose if you get 365 mod 10 you will get the 5 here last digit removed and here you will get the last digit is nothing but any number you divide with a 10 so any number you divide with a 10 any number you divide with a 10 right it will remove the last digit from the number so division operation and whenever you perform reminder operation nothing but any number mod 10 will return the last digit. So, if you write n mod 10 will give you the last digit of the given number. So, that you are collecting into any variable, suppose digit or last, any variable name and you can work with that digit. And any number you just divide with a 10 store into the same variable n only because we are going to remove so n value is 365 n by 10 means what it will remove that 5 36 will give will store into that same n but don't store n mod 10 operation value into d because you are getting the digit you are not removing you are not changing this n but here you are changing this n these two things are very very important before going to start learning all digit based programs using while loop hope you understood guys thank you